Replace character's clothing with a pink fairy dress. And there you go. <laughs> I mean, I didn't do anything. I did all of the work. This sounds like something my wife would say. If it could just clone an entire homepage in two minutes, you can clone an entire website in less than one hour. An error occurred during upload. This is how vibe coding should feel like. Today, we're gonna go through the top 10 AI tools that blew up this month on There's an AI for That. And this is the biggest website for AI tools in the world that we're talking about. So you're actually gonna get the best of the best. We just hit 2 million subscribers on our AI newsletter. I'm gonna drop a link in the description. Make sure to subscribe. Let's get this video started. The first tool in our list is Contra, which is a platform and creative network at the same time that has a database of more than 1.3 million creatives. And you can basically compare the AI models that are generating those creatives head to head. And you can vote on the output Outputs. This is how it looks like. Their slogan is compare, vote, advanced creative AI. And in my opinion, this tool is really useful for two things. First of all, to make you understand what model works for you because you're gonna get multiple results on your input and you can see which one you prefer the most. And second of all, to use your opinion as some kind of a public benchmark. Generate a carousel ad for a clothing store, summer floral collection. Okay, so right now it's randomly picking four models and it's basically using different models to generate what you've asked for. The highlight of this tool is that you can pick which ones you like. You can only pick one option and you can choose what you prefer, left or right. Let's say I like the right one. Then it is going to compare two different images from probably two different models. Now, for example, this one, this did not follow the prompt. So this way you're actually helping them by telling them that this specific model is not generating good outputs. And the right one has something weird to it. But from these two, I prefer the right one. And then it's cross comparing them. So I'm gonna go with the left one. Then it's cross comparing these two. Let's go with the left one. And here, let's go with the right one. And basically, these are the finalists. Let's go with the left one. All right, so the tournament is complete and you can see that the winner, which is the one that I've picked the most times throughout all of the comparisons, this is the first place. It was generated by Gemini 2.5. Second place was generated by Recraft. Third one by Stable Diffusion. And fourth one by Quen. If you scroll a bit down, you can see a leaderboard for the models that have generated ads. You get the model name, the ranking, LO, which is like a scoring system and win percentage which is basically the number of times when someone picked it as a winner you can test it for literally anything you can even say something like build me a landing page for a skincare product it's gonna go through the same steps again and you're gonna get the same tournament where you can pick winners between two options go ahead and check it out it's really fun and you can use it for anything now just wait until you see the last tool of this list it's a tool that can actually build you any website with just a simple idea that you write on your keyboard so make sure to watch the whole video let's move on to the next tool PDF to video AI. Now this tool is pretty self-explanatory. It basically transforms your PDFs into explainer videos with AI generated animations and narration also. The user interface looks something like this. It's very simple and it doesn't even need to be complicated at all. So what I'm gonna do to test it out is I'm gonna upload a PDF file that has a top five GPT prompts that I made back in the day. They have multiple voices you can use. There's a color palette that you can pick for your theme. It's gonna go through all of the steps live and you can see what's happening right now. And then that's it. This took less than one minute. Now, I don't really see a video. I see some frames that are basically structured just like a presentation. So this is not a video, but I have a button here that says continue generating video and it continues generating the, the video. All right, and finally we have the video together with a transcript. It's three minutes long and we can just play it. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. This is different than Gamma. Gamma creates a nice presentation that's more focused on text. This also gives us some light illustrations. This is particularly useful for maybe school, university projects, or even if you need to do a simple presentation for your workplace. By the way, I'm gonna leave all of the links to all of the tools that I'm gonna talk about in this video in the description. Next up, we have Visual GPT, which is a tool that creates, edits, and also enhances images through integrated AI models such as Nano Banana and Flux. Their interface looks something like this. They have 3D models that you can change with simple prompts and they're gonna look something like this. Sketch to photo, product poster. All you need to do is just feed it one picture and you can generate multiple poses while keeping character consistency and also do interesting things such as change your clothes let's feed it a picture of myself for the prompting part you can just use natural language or you can use these shortcuts let's use the 3d model one and as you can see it already gave me a prompt which is turn this photo into a character figure let's click generate and there you go looks pretty cool 
Let's try changing my clothes. Replace character's clothing with a pink fairy dress. And there you go. <laughs> all right, so this tool uses Nano Banana for all of the processing. If you're not familiar with Nano Banana and what it can do, check out this video that we posted. We went on a deep dive and you can see a lot of other cool features that you can use. Next up on our list is Hyperlink by Nexa AI. This is basically a local first AI agent that transforms the way you search, organize and analyze your documents. And unlike cloud or online co pilots, all the processing of this tool stays on your device. This makes it ideal for you if you are handling sensitive data. They also support a wide range of files and it can even extract information from images, from receipts and from any scanned documents that you might have. This is how their user interface looks like. It's pretty playful and simple. I like their interface. Think of this as a chat GPT that already has access to all of the files inside of your computer. The best part about it is that you can run it without internet. I mean, the downside is the fact that you're going to need to install a GPT inside of your computer. They usually take up some space. In my case, it was 11 gigabytes. But the upside is that you're going to get your very own assistant without needing the internet. Now, first thing we need to connect our files. You can upload your files just like this. And besides using the chat module as you would normally use a GPT, you could ask it any normal questions like you would ask chat GPT. It will give you an answer. But on top of that, it will scan the local files that you give it access to and give an answer to a question if it's related to your files. Or you can ask it something specific such as I have a file about top five GPT prompts, fetch it to me. It's gonna scan all of the files that you gave it access to. You can access the files from here. And the best part about it is that it actually crawls on your files and it gives you the answer to your question based on what it finds inside of your files. This is pretty cool. It's like a chat GPT with extra steps that you can run locally 100% safe. Next up on our list, we have biela.dev. This is an AI powered code coding platform, including developers and non-coders such as myself, to turn any ideas they might have into real software projects. You can basically combine natural language prompts with voice input, you can upload files, you can basically do anything you'd like, and Biela would technically translate your concepts into code and deploy your application or web page or project or whatever it is. And this is where you can give it a prompt, select your AI model, build me a landing page for my cookie brand. The brand is called Cookie Monsters. Let's keep it simple. You can see it in real time. You can see the website being coded live as we speak right now. And you can see the AI that's reasoning with itself. It shows you all of the project on the left side and the coding on the right side. All right, so we have our first bug. I don't know what is this. Potential problem detected. Terminal execution error. Should we try to fix this problem or would you prefer to discuss it first? This sounds like something my wife would say. I can see that the error is caused by unescaped quotes in the SVG data URL. I mean, I didn't do anything. Biela did all of the work. All right, I love the logo. It's moving. They, they have a cookie and someone took a bite out of it. It's moving upwards and downwards. Cookie monsters. I gave it 100% freedom. So all of these descriptions are AI generated. They have some AI generated images of cookies, which I think is generated with Flux. Monster reviews. They're missing a picture here. AI vibe code development by Biela.dev powered by TechMe Code Institute. They have a footer menu. Let's see if it works. Okay, so that doesn't work. See our flavors. This doesn't work. Order monster cookies. I mean, to be fair, I only told it to generate a landing page. I'm 100% positive that you can generate an entire website with all of the pages that you need. A very cool thing that I love here is that on the header of the page, you can see the development cost, which is capped at around $110 per hour from what I see. It tells you how much money you would have paid a developer and how much time they needed to work on this project so far. And then it told you how much money you paid Biela to generate this project. Finally, telling you how much money have you saved so far. Now, I would have something to add on this tool. The biggest misconception in tech right now is that vibe coding produces unusable software. But here's what the critics miss. All of these AI models that do vibe coding right now are basically the worst they will ever be. Every single month that passes, they get smarter, more capable, and more secure. So the smart strategy here is not avoiding vibe coding, but it's using it intelligently. And I have some advice for you here. First of all, start with internal tools and private projects. Second of all, build prototypes to validate your ideas before hiring an expensive developer. After that, you can use this learning opportunity and this way you will understand all of the trade-offs. And finally, let the AI model be your coding tutor. If you don't understand something, you can just ask it right away. Why did you choose this specific approach? Help me understand this specific part. Do not let perfect be the enemy of good because the future actually belongs to the builders who start building today. And that's what these tools do. More specifically, in our case, Biela, makes vibe coding accessible to anyone with unlimited context. 
And on top of that, you get true code ownership. This being said, let's move on to our next tool. Our next tool is called Audio Convert AI. It's basically an AI powered tool that's designed to convert audio files into textual format. They have a pretty cool AI technology that transcribes the speech into text and it can distinguish between multiple speakers and it can also include precise timestamps for each and every single word. This is very good if you're doing interviews, podcasts, or if you just wanna transcribe something that's long and it would take a long time if you would manually go through all of the content. On their website, they listed their superpowers, which are subtitle and caption generation, lecture and research transcription, podcast and interview transcription, meeting and user research notes, sales call analysis, and voice memo transcriptions. Let's take one completely random audio file that I have on my laptop, upload it here, and click start transcription. And it just gives you the transcribed version. It tells you the language, how many words are there in this audio file, how many speakers, how long is the file, and if you hover over any word from the transcript, you can see that it highlights it. This means that you can click it and the audio for that specific part will start running. That's it, pretty simple to the point. Next tool on our list is called the Vento. Under the hood, the Vento uses containerization and also micro VM sandboxes, such as Firecracker and Kata containers. This way you can run your code safely and isolate each runtime. Let's give it a prompt. Build me a to-do app with user login, dark mode, and REST API. It's reasoning right now. You can click on every step and you can see what it's working on. Now, as a first thing that I'm noticing is that the Vento keeps putting the these reasoning blocks. I think they are separated, but they are not showing me anything precise. So I just sit here looking at a screen with reasoning tabs and I have to click on each individual one to see what they are reasoning. After it finished, it tells me what it's creating. It gives me all of the steps. Now, instead of running the code vertically, I see that it, it, it continues running it horizontally and it goes on forever. I've never seen a vibe coding app do something like this. I mean, functionally, I think it's the same, but visually it looks weird. Now it tells you what it built, where it lives on the sandbox. It also gives you a live preview link that looks something like this. It tells you how to run it locally and notes the next steps if you want enhancements. Now this is not quite beginner friendly, but I'm sure it gets the job done. Next up we have Runnable. Now this is an amazing tool that acts as your AI assistant and it can complete task execution while connecting with your apps and also browsing the internet for information. This is how it looks. This is what you can use it for, create presentations, make websites, create reports, podcasts, research, browse the internet and connect your apps. Build a clone of the SpaceX website. You can see the progress live. And also the thing that I love about it is that it acts as your assistant. It shows you a list of to-do items and it ticks them off as it's solving each and every one of them. And there you go, we just need the logo and some other images. But it went through the entire website. It scraped everything off the website. It looks exactly like SpaceX. And all it took was around two minutes. Now, of course, it's not perfect and it still doesn't have all of the pages, but I'm 100% sure that if it could just clone an entire homepage in two minutes, you can clone an entire website in less than one hour. And you can use it for basically anything that you can think about. Create a weekly report on the stock market trends. All right, so the final step was to convert the report into PDF format. And there you go, this is the report. It's in PDF format. You can see everything that's happening on the stock market. So yeah, it, it did a lot of research, but what I don't really like is the fact that it took close to 10 minutes. And 10 minutes is a very long time when we are talking about basic presentations. I mean, this one is five pages only. And of course, I'm going to compare it to ChatGPT. On ChatGPT, this would have taken, I think, less than one minute. But yeah, pretty cool tool. You can use it on basically anything. Next tool on our list is called AI Dubbing, which basically generates studio quality voiceovers from text or recordings with multilingual support and also voice cloning. Let's upload a short video of myself talking about Apple's Veritas. It's processing the video. An error occurred during upload. Let's try it with a different video. Same error. All right, so I uploaded the original video. Let's translate it into German with subtitles. Dub video now. All right, guys, so I definitely use this tool and I've seen this tool being in use so many times before, but for some reason, right now, it keeps acting up. We are probably gonna get back to it in a future video, but for now, it seems like they're processing the dubbing and it doesn't quite work. I tried three different videos. This is the fourth one. It's the only one that they accepted and I cannot seem to make it work, but maybe it works for you. Go and see for yourself. Link is in the description and check it for yourself. Finally, the last tool on our list is Hostinger Horizons, which is an AI-powered, no 
low-code platform that allows you to create websites and applications just by chatting with the AI. This video has a lot of vibe coding tools. This tells me that the whole AI scene is kind of shifting towards that area and I really like it because instead of taking lots of years to learn how to code, you can just access one of these tools such as Hosting or Horizons and just give it a simple prompt in a natural language. Let's give it the same prompt, create a landing page for my cookie company that's called Cookie Monsters. Start for free. I really like the way they are communicating, crafting a mouth-watering hero section with bold, playful vibes. I like it. I think that this is how vibe coding should feel like. And you know, I, I don't mean to offend anyone. I'm just that guy. I don't know how to code. I don't know anything about coding. And this is why I'm so excited about these tools. It finished and it took exactly 60 seconds, which for our video and for the tools that we got so far, this is the absolute best. Let's see how it looks like. First of all, this doesn't seem like AI generated. So if you click on order now, it tells me this feature is not implemented yet, but don't worry, you can request it in your next prompt. Pretty cool. You can edit content. If you don't like specific things on a page, you can just click on them. You can upload a new image if you'd like to. So it's pretty easy for somebody like myself who wouldn't know otherwise how to change an image on a website. If you want to change the text, you don't necessarily need a new prompt. You can just click on the text and add it here. So it's a very simple landing page for a cookie company. I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. And I think that if I would want to make it more complex, I could definitely do that without breaking a sweat. So guys, these were the top 10 tools on There's an AI for that for this month. Let me know in the comment section, which one do you think is the best and which one would you use the most? If you want to check out other AI tools, more specifically more than 40,000 AI tools, don't forget to check out There's an AI for that, the biggest website for AI tools in the world. And while you're at it, make sure to subscribe to our newsletter, the biggest AI newsletter in the world with now more than 2 million people. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. And until next time, bye-bye.